Hey guys, welcome back to the fourth video of the NumPy Tutorials for Beginners series. In this video, I'll be talking about reshaping, concatenation, and vectorizing operations in NumPy. So first, let's talk about reshaping arrays in NumPy. I've created an array using the arrange function that goes from 1 to 12, and this is a one-dimensional array. Next, I want to reshape this array into a 3 by 4 array. To do this, I have to first write the variable name for the array and then dot reshape, which is the function. Next, within the parentheses, you need to put in one argument that's a tuple. And this tuple will be the, it'll contain the numbers for the shape. So this is a 3 comma 4 tuple. That means we'll create a 3 by 4 NumPy array. So let's run the code. You can see here that this is the original array created from the arrange function. And the new reshaped array has three rows and four columns, which is what we want from the tuple 3 comma 4. If let's say I switch this 4 comma 3, that means I want four rows and three columns, which is what we get over here. If I want to type in 2 comma 6, that means we'll get two rows and six columns over here. And let me use 6 comma 2 so we get 6 rows 2 columns so we are creating two dimensional numpy arrays let's try creating a three dimensional numpy array so 3 comma 2 comma 2 so over here i've created a three dimensional numpy array so i have three elements in my main array and within and each element has two elements in it and those two elements are lists with two elements each so i've created a three-dimensional numpy array all right so that's pretty much it for reshaping remember that all your numbers have to be within a parentheses you have to create a tuple object when you're putting the shape into the reshape function. Let me show you another example. So here I've created array 2, a range 1, 7. So I create an one dimensional array from 1 to 6. And let's reshape this. So here I've typed in 6, 1, which is my shape. So what this means is that I'll create 6 rows and 1 column. And this is actually what I get. So we have six rows and each column has, there's only one column and each element within the main array has one element. All right. So, and let's create one comma six instead. You see that our original array and our new array are different because you can see that the original array is within another array. So here I have one row, which is this. And in each row, there are six columns. So there are six elements. And yeah, that's about it for reshaping. Okay, so now let's talk about concatenation in NumPy. So here I've declared two arrays A and B. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 10, 12, 10 11. All right, so these are my two arrays A and B. Next, I want to concatenate arrays A and B. And we need to do this by using the np.concatenate function. So this is my, so I printed out array C and this is array C. So you can see that what we do here is that we have to first have a tuple with the arrays that we want to concatenate inside. And I've also set the axis to zero. So basically what happens is that we take array A and we add another row to array A. So B is, B has this row 10, 11, 10, 11, and we simply add it to array A. So here we have three rows in total. So you can see that this is array A and this is array B and then we simply join them together. So that's when we set axis is equal to zero, which is by default. So let's say I want to concatenate the arrays by columns. 
I can do this by setting axis is equal to 1. All right, so I need to ensure that when I'm concatenating by columns, my rows are the same. So that's why I have to transpose B. So when I transpose B, I get this array. You can see that it's a column 10, 11, and then I concatenate it with A. So A has two columns, one and one and three. So that's the first column, two and four. So that's the second column. So that's A, and you can simply divide the array up between 2 and 10 and 4 and 11 to get back the original array a and b dot transpose so i can simply change the axis is equal to 1 so that i can concatenate the arrays together by columns all right so that's how concatenation works okay so now let's talk about numpy dot vectorize let's say i have an array and I've declared it np.arrange11. So it's a one dimensional array from 0 to 10. And I have a function cube element, right? And it returns element cubed. So let's say I want to apply this function on each element in this array. I could do this by iterating through each element in the numpy array using a Python loop. But a better way to do this is to use the numpy.vectorize function. What I can do is that I can call numpy.vectorize and put in the name of the function, which is cube, into the parentheses. And then I create a new variable function and you know make it equal to it. So this is now a function, and what I can do is I can call this function by and I'll also put in the array variable into the function. All right, and then I'll print out the final value. So here I've printed out array A. So initially array A went from 0 to 10 and then each element was cubed. So we get 0, 1, A, 27, so on until 1000. So np.vectorize is basically a convenience function that allows you to... So basically we have the cube function that operates on an element Whereas our new function, which we created from np.vectorize, can operate on an array. So we can just put in the array into the function and we'll get the correct output. So it's just more convenient to use np.vectorize. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you like this video, then please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.